Hi, I'm Floyd Scott. And I'm Connie Maynard. And I'm Christine Scott. And we're Hearts of Grace. We actually started in February of 2000 uh, in Sweeney uh, High School Auditorium. We were blessed to open up for Karen Peck in New River. Uh, Connie joined us shortly after that, and uh, the three of us have been uh, traveling together uh, quite some time now. We've traveled across the United States um, to various venues, National Quartet Convention, the Gospel Music Revival in Branson, we'll be doing that again this year, and the Lord has truly blessed us to meet and greet a lot of folks that love the Lord across this great nation. Absolutely. I currently work as a graphic artist at our local college, but I also, as part of our ministry, create websites and graphics such as banners, posters uh, for your concerts, business cards, all the different pieces that you need to make your ministry work for you. And I am a full-time grandma, uh, soccer grandma, baseball grandma, softball grandma, and I'm very busy with that and singing. I actually retired in May of 2009, um, and I put most of my time now into the ministry. We travel Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, uh, usually within a 600 mile radius of our home. The first song we're going to sing today is I Can See Grace From Here. I Can See Grace From Here is one of the most requested songs that we sing. We sing it all over the country. Actually came about as Chrissy and I were traveling to see her mom and dad. We went over an overpass that allowed her to look and see a huge church by the name, Grace. And she simply said, I can see Grace from here. And before we got home, I wrote the song. I hope you enjoy it.
We currently have three CD projects. Look Who's Coming Down the Road, Plow in the Fields, and Because You Gave Me Grace. All of our projects have seven original songs as written by Hearts of Grace and three most requested songs. You can find all of our CDs on our website, heartsofgrace.com, and most of the uh, internet uh, sites that sell downloads, iTunes and so on. So check them out. A couple of years ago, when we went into the studio, we needed one more song to complete the project. And my husband decided to write a song that would encourage folks that already know the Lord to be reminded that no matter what we're going through, what the problem might be that you're facing today, whatever valley you're going through in your life, the Lord will lift you up. And this song is called, He Lifts Me Up. We'd like to invite you to visit our website at heartsofgrace.com. On our website, you can find our schedule, a link to our Facebook page, as well as purchase our products online. And also, if you'd like to download a media kit, 
we have that as well. If you still want to reach us by phone, the phone number is 979-824-5058. We'd like you to get in contact with us in any way you'd like. The next song that we're doing is Beyond the Clouds. And actually, Flo Floyd got the inspiration for this song as he was driving to work one day. It was a dark, stormy day and a ray of sunshine suddenly broke through the clouds and gave him the idea to write beyond the clouds, the sun, S-O-N, is always shining. And we're very proud this year that the, that song was voted number one song for STGMA and he was voted number one songwriter for STGMA. And we're very proud of him for that.
We hope you enjoyed your time with us today. Uh, although we love singing Southern gospel music, I've been pastoring for the last 30 years and my heart's in the preaching of God's word as well. Uh, we love holding revivals. Uh, we love singing praise to the Lord. We love doing that as a combination. So if you feel like after hearing our songs and hearing our testimonies that the Lord's leading you to call Hearts of Grace to be a part of your service, regardless of where it's preaching a revival for a week or, or just coming and, and singing uh, the goodness of the Lord. We'd like to be a part of that, and we hope that you pray about it. Uh, give us a call. Check us out on the Internet. Check us out on Facebook. And we pray that the Lord will bless you, and thank you for taking the time to listen to us today. Amen.